Oh, that sounds. Oh, that sounds so so so. Wait, me, me, so poorly. Mm -hmm. That like that singing that sounds very poorly. Mm -hmm. Yes, like your call. Your call. Mm -hmm. like, you need your socks. You're built for the traffic. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV is live, live, live. Live, live, live. Woo! Yeah, the belly is woo! All right, see me, I broke out. Let me stop. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you and you and you and you and you. It is a beautiful morning. Ow! Oh, that's something I see. The sun is shining and all of them something there. Yeah. I'm, share, I'm sharing, guys. I'm sharing. Well, I'm going to say, we can move the camera so that you can see us at length. Yeah, may I block our still, but yeah. See, say hello. Um, Morning. Join us. Nishaya W. Good morning. Mocha. Who we want now? Mocha. Mocha D M. G, good morning. Angela Williams, official Jamia. How y'all doing? Good morning. I am I am just sharing guys. Sandria Shaw. Is that the Sandria Shaw from St. Mary? Is it Sandria Shaw from St. Mary? Try big up yourself. Is that because? <laughs> when she say her friend name, she said, she says, yes, it is. This niece's mom. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, cousin Sandy. Good morning to you. And how do you do? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so. so this morning, guys, let's get into it. We are changing. Well, not changing, but we're going very simple this morning. All right, very simple. We're not overdue. This morning we are going simple. All right. Sometimes you have to just go simple and go. See, you're gonna show them what you're doing this morning. Mm -hmm. Where's Miss Kellyan? I can't find Miss Kellyan. No, Miss Kellyan. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me now. Follow me now. Follow me now. Um, sorry. <laughs> again, 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 again. This is our fried green plantains. You have to say plantains, okay? I have to say green. If you don't say green plantains, then you're not making plantains, okay? <laughs> or tostones. Tostones. <laughs> and guess what, you guys? You have to put this. You have to try putting a piece of garlic in your oil when you're frying your plantains. <laughs> it makes a world of a difference, you know. You better believe what I'm telling you. I'm not joking this morning. <laughs> Alright, so I, I literally deliberately turned the fire, the stove, all the way down to low. Because we want these to be golden brown. And because of spice fried. Yeah. Too often, 
we put the thing in the oil the oil is too hot it get real dark early but it's not fried on the inside so you can't really play those games with plantains because it's kind of you know harder to fry and it's harder to crush yeah it has to be partially almost fully cooked in order to easily crush so that's what we're trying to do get it to that stage where it is almost cooked so i turn um fry it on every side and then you want to flip it also like such so that even the underside that section gets cooked also mm -hmm. and over here we have a piece of sawfish yeah quarter pound of sawfish <laughs> being boiled twice boiled to remove the excess saltiness before you cook it up and guys as we always say we it's very unpretentious in the Belly's kitchen you know we're not we're not doing what we we're not going um where you call it now see mm -hmm. we're not going above and beyond to 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 bring us bashment and all you know we're just doing what we can we've been on a mission guys to to minimize the excessive spending on food to cook because we know we have stuff in the fridge we have stuff in the cupboard and so the temptation is always there to come up with some grand dish that requires something that we don't have so we're trying to do a challenge where we cook from whatever is available yeah cook from whatever is available and the freezer is going down Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the food cost to buy food every week is really hey, expensive. When did chicken pass 30 cents a pound? <laughs> I, I, I went to Walmart and a package of chicken was almost ten dollars. I'm like, I've never seen chicken that price before. Chicken I think them I think them screechy and increase the price because people distracted with everything else. Like we're not gonna realize that them increase the food price. <laughs> then increase the food budget plan. Mm -hmm. You see? Golden brown. That's what we're doing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll show them what went on on the other but it's flatter over there. Mega mm -hmm. 360. So over here now I have an onion. I have my okra and my okra was you well, I keep my okra in the freezer guys because I'm not buy a whole container of okra and eat it up one time so I'm keeping it in the freezer I have some scallion I have my miracle seasoning here and me just take out these frankfurters out of the fridge let me tell you why I took out the frankfurter because one is a little bit of saltfish that's the first thing show up on the frankfurter please um, cameraman the, is, so it's a little bit of saltfish and two, I know mean, Josh Joshua really too into the saltfish thing. So I'm just trying to be comprehensive. Accommodative. Accommodative, yeah, that's the word. word Thank you. The word of the morning is? The word of the morning is accommodative. You have to say the they. Accommodative. Accommodative. All right. Good morning once again to every single a head of cauliflower is five dollars in New York. Are you serious right now? And that was like two dollars something. Valine, good morning to Valine Thorpe from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Montego Bay is in the house. Hey, Jamaica hey, is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. No, them not say nothing about no chicken and rice. But still. And not so the sango. It's not so the sango. And guys, just big up our official cameraman today. Josh. Is Josh the real, otherwise known as Web Venture. And Josh the food lover. And Josh the food lover on Instagram. And today, Josh the food lover is not in class. So the teacher them ask why I'm not in class. May I go tell them, say, in skull school. <laughs> yes, skull school, Josh? Yeah. What happened? I finished my work. You finished your work. And well, Joshua. When you guys were in the classroom, they never allowed you to come out the classroom. And guys, you your work. sorry, baby. I want to pray for Joshua this morning because he has um, some exam. And what is the exam you have this weekend, son? ACT. ACT. 
you know that um has an exam tomorrow too you know that your aunt right my aunt which is living in um in joy in georgia or north carolina one out of the two georgia? i think it's georgia but i'm not sure somewhere up there she used to have a business and i remember that business um as you said act i remember that business was called act you know yeah and that was uh her one of her first business so what is act Mazmas, good morning to you joshua what is act hello from brompton ontario canada Canada is in the house. Ontario's in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. What is ACT, Josh? It's like a test you can upload to when you're, when you're um, like, going to upload for your college, like when you're signing up. It's, so it's like an, the SAT, basically. It's an like application SAT. test. It's a, a, a college application test. College yeah. Qualified our qualifying test you don't have to to need it to go some colleges you have to well either it's or the sat either or oh so it's it's like an equivalent to the sats yes okay awesome awesome sauce and guys there are lots of kids especially kids in jamaica who are struggling this morning because you know they are well not say jamaica alone but in third world countries because they have um shortage of you know computer and laptop and stuff like that and so guys, Ow! i want to hear i want to this boy something sting me not no sting you man sure the again? No. not no sting this boy this boy does ball out something stinging all right let me turn this camera around Okay, put it back here. Why, why you change my, my settings, Josh? On my, on my um, filters. I just looked at it. I didn't click it. Yeah, but how does it come off? Oh. I didn't click any. Oh. Good morning, prayer kid. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you. See, now I'm, now I'm impressed something. I'm going to know how to get it off. What did I press? Oh, I, I got it. I got it. No, I, I got it. The planting pressure upper or something? Yeah, I don't know. In that thing. You have to go look this. Look over the one. If it's not your one, look at the other. So as I said, guys, there are some folks that are really struggling. It's not in any You know, so we, we we really want to be mindful of those folks who are having it diff finding difficulty in acquiring whatever is needed to to um to do their their lessons their, you know and stuff like that so you know just be mindful you know if you can if you can lend a helping hand in any way yes lend it you know but as i said before guys you know there are some folks who um all around who are struggling you know i do pray that whatever can be done is done Whatever we can do in our own little space and time, we do it. All right. Um, Troy says next, yeah, the belly curry, turkey neck, and cauliflower rice and peas. Lord, help Troy. Help Troy, Jesus. Help him this morning, Lord. We pray for Troy this morning and the curry, turkey neck. And so, guys, yeah, what, one of the, as I said before, one of the major struggles that I found in doing my channel is that there are a lot of well not a lot there is there's not a lot of breakfast um options when you stick in jamaican with the jamaican um, um vibe and so you have to really and truly go out of the box sometimes you understand <laughs> you have to go out of the box sometimes so we're gonna try that you know all right um let me let me show you guys again a little bit of what I'm doing here. Let me just fix my camera. Hmm? All right, so yes, Maz, Maz. Hello. <laughs> she see a Joshua what? acting the fool behind me. <laughs> All right, so I have some some baby tomatoes, and and guys, the reason why me use these tomatoes most times is because you know the big ones we buy them and them stay and spoil. You know. 
Because I know all the time. And I personally don't use a lot of tomato because uh, my doctor told me that the tomato have um, potassium. And there is some woolly past things going around with tomatoes. You know, tomato is nightshade and it, it, it causes inflation, inflammation, sorry, not inflation, inflammation and, and all these things. So I never knew these things that some of the foods that we are eating, if we would change up the habits, the eating habits, that we would we could save ourselves a whole lot of health grief and, and, and RTA campaign. You know? Never know them something there. So we, we just have to get to the point where we get into to know things. Maz Maz is asking what you want to do as a career, Josh. I think an IT him want to do him down a, him, him, him attention span is so small, him not stay around. All right, guys, so we have our planting press, planting pressure over here, and this is how we do it. Just press it down. And voila. Yeah, Joshua wants to do something in the field of IT, but we have graphic designing and computer programming and stuff like such. He's already good at graphic design. Okay. And web website, web creation, website creations. Web design. Web design. All right. That's true. Jamaican don't have a lot of breakfast option, but you can be the Marcus Garvey of Jamaican breakfast and bring something power to powerful to Jamaican breakfast. Rise up, mighty cook. <laughs> Try. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. What you wanna? You wanna just put regular salt on this? Mm -hmm. I know salt. Like how we're using saltish. Eh? Or a little Tony saturated. Stop. Either one. Tony. Not no. No, where do it, man, girl? My girl. Oh, you man, reach everything. Don't worry about it. All right, so once the, the planting is twice fried like such, and she press them. It's not twice fried yet. Well, you, once it's fried, you, she just press them, and then you just put them back in the, in the oil. As was said before, you have to, you have to really make sure that the planting them cook, because if they're not cooked the first time, they're going to be breaky, breaky, and you know, that type of thing. And, and so that's the struggle, you know, especially when you're rushing to, to, well, not rushing, but you're trying to do your video in a timely manner where you end up with is a little bit of compromise you know but it's not not something to ball over all right so we're just gonna put them back as you see in the pot and twice fry them if you can season them up at this time some people drop them in salt water and all sort of stuff especially the the hispanic um community who does this a lot this is a major um recipe in the hispanic community latin american community or latin community you know um tostones it's called and so they do it a lot and they do it different ways the haitians also um use it in their menu options as well and they do it a little bit different also so each community they, they basically is the same result but it's just you know the, the method may the method may be different so even in jamaican households the same result, but the method may be different. So if you see the method looking a little bit more unique than, than you're used to, please don't come for us. Okay? It's our planting and our stove. And our, we are crushing. Crush it. Yeah, you can crush it, sir. All right. So that being said, turn up the stove a little bit more. Okay, you want them to crisp up. All right. So, and once the planting is basically done, your recipe almost done, what I'm going to do next is basically take my salted cod and just clean it up, pick it up, and, and prepare it for you guys to see. Alright? It is turned 
حفظ من جنو هستی آمد و رسافش ما هم از اتوا ایران دیگه آمد؟ یه This is how the sawfish is done. Over here. All right, so it hot like fire now. I'm just going to go the hot water. All right, so there are different types of different processes that they do on the market with sawfish. This is the original salted cod, the, the original one that we used to from Jamaica. And how you know is the original one, one, it have bones, and two, it have the skin on. Okay, so pretty much you just want to get rid of the bones, it acts, it acts way. And then you want to just use a knife and get the scales and all of that off. Wait, wait, tab on me. I don't nah, waste the water, you know? Not wasting the water. I don't nah, waste the water in Jesus' name. Hey, hey, we. And you just want to clean this off because this is the scale and the skin of the saltfish. This is all. You know, in, 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 in places like Hungary, in places like um, some of the European countries, the, the, the salted cod is rehydrated and used like fresh fish you know th this would be sold as a as a piece of fish in a restaurant for instance you know um and it's called bacalao or pol or you know um what the other name them have another name for it polak no polak is a different type of fish really but yeah Um, Susan says she used the plantain skin to, 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 um, to press the plantain. Yeah, that's how we normally do it. And that's how we normally do it, but we, we, we get the plantain. We upgrade. Yeah, we upgrade. Because, again, in the Latin stores, you will find those, those type of um, little mechanisms and stuff. Because, again, as I said, it's a, it's a vital part of their, um, the, the way in which they prepare their things so they have the, the presser and all these things in their stores you know and so you can wait me and they utilize it just why you can't stand up in the light son all right right there good where do you get the board from the board the planting something i think it's the planting something they're making reference to and that is in mostly in latin american stores um in in florida there is a store called bravo and there is another one called presidente um you can find it in there yeah and so you just want to get out them 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 thing they out of it son nice 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 see that i i need to see see that that look good all right i know you just pretty much if i can put this here yeah hopefully they can see are you gonna make 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 them see and then you just pretty much want to you know break it into pieces you know and then you clean out the bones as you go i remember growing up the the backbone to the selfish was a was a highly prized piece of saltfish, you know. The saltfish backbone, you know what I see? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yeah, 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 like Nobody could have a fight to fight for that man. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And you just want to break it into pieces. And I know normally don't, I leave a little bit of this um, um, silver skin on, just for my own um, use. Some people clean it totally off. All right. There you go. How oh, that look, Josh? Look good? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my shirt today, my shirt today says, says Yard Belly TV. It's my tagline t-shirt and you can click on the shop now page to find many, many more um, Jamaican inspired apparel. It says Tonya Handmade Fashion, and at the back it have a little 
Jamaica flag, yeah, you know, because you know. But Jamaica, you understand? Good. Um, good morning, Sister J, Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine. Bless up to you, Sister J. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. With those pressers, you can do burgers and fritters. To think about it, you know, try if you put a piece of um, what you call it, um, um, wax paper or, or a piece of what, um, what a clear, clear paper, DMC, cling wrap. cling wrap. If you put a piece of cling wrap in the presser, you can actually make put up um, burger meat in there and make a burger, you know. So that's a very good idea, sir. Thank you for that. All right, so now we're just pretty much trying to give the wife a little space. In with which we can start to maneuver. Well, um, and I have my, my, my pepper here because, you know, normally I'm going to use the country pepper unless I really want to use a whole one. I keep my pepper in the freezer, guys. You know, try to keep it steady, Josh. All right. Thank you guys so much. So we're moving to the next phase now. And here is some of the planting. That look good though. Joshua. Joshua, try this. Put it by yourself. Tell them how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is very crunchy and mm. what's the word <laughs> salty and mm -mm. very good mm -mm. tastes good mm -mm. mas mas it tastes so good okay angie angie um what i did was I just blended my peppers, blended my peppers, you know, and, and made a sauce. Use a little vinegar and stuff and just make a sauce. Because I don't want to waste my peppers. And so, you know, if you have pepper in the fridge, just don't sitting down in the fridge, not doing nothing. It can end up go bad. So this is pretty much pepper. And then I also added a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of um, sweet pepper, you know, them just get creative you know i've not yet made this into a video but this has served me quite well over the past couple of eat a um, months you eat a spoonful <laughs> i give you a ten dollar if you eat a spoonful i challenge you you can't you have money to give me you don't have no money to give me child it's not for money for uh, no but you can't challenge me without money that don't make no sense though mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to actually. I will stay here. I need a pot, baby. And you go over the other side. Oh, yeah. The planting look good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My wife is doing a very good job with the planting. Good job, see? You ever say it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and in this bottle, we have our miracle seasoning and our miracle seasoning is pretty, pretty good. What it is actually is garlic, ginger, turmeric, apple cider vinegar, jalapeno peppers, cayenne pepper, um, and what else, babes? That's about it, really. And I use this in almost everything, guys. It is so strong and nice. And, and I mean, it's actually the, the actual stuff. See there? The actual stuff, you know? And I just, I just use it. Instead of just chopping up garlic and all of that, I just use this um, to, to add to my, my cooking. All right? So one of the things that I've been looking at in recent time is a lot of... Asian style of making food is um, preserved foods or fermented foods. And stuff like this, 
the more you preserve it, the more you ferment it, the stronger it gets. And the, the flavors gel and blend nicely. And so I would, I would recommend that we try to do brines and pickles and stuff like that. Jamaicans, for the most part, the only thing we ferment is pick a pepper. For the most part, pick a pepper. Carrot, chocho, um, what else, there? Carrot, chocho, pepper, mm -hmm. pimento. pimento, in vinegar. But there is so much that you can do. You can, you can preserve um, regular cucumber, make pickles. You can pickle beetroot. You can, you can pickle garlic. I mean, there is so much that you can pickle. And if you pickle these things properly, you can put them down and the shelf life is, is like even a, up to a year you can have the shelf life for it. And so as things get tough, because let me tell you something, guys. This is an insider um, knowledge I'm giving you. One of the things that the WHO want to do is, is to minimize the amount of meat that people eat. That's the re one of the major recommendations in the coming years. They want to minimize the amount of meat that people consume. And even for my, me, myself, I want to minimize the amount of meat that I consume. Now, if we do minimize the amount of meat we consume, then the bum rush to, to, to fruits and vegetables is also going to have a fall shot. What I mean by that is, if everybody in the world decides for us to eat fruits and vegetables right away, immediately we are going to have a problem. So, if we start to learn how to pickle and preserve and how to, to dry and dehydrate and ferment and all of those, those, those um, um, skills, then we can have our fruits for a longer period of time, our vegetables can last a longer period of time, and we can also enhance our health. Because it has been proven that fermenting, dehydrating, and all these things, they really change the, the, the complexity of the food, and it does help your health. Okay? So that being said, let me see if we can come over this side now. Time for sure we're going over the pot side. All right, so I am setting up my camera. Sorry, guys. Let me turn this around here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so the wifey over there doing her thing, and I am going to start on this. All right. Okay, so now I'm just put on some, put on my pot to, to warm up, and then I'm gonna start my cooking process. Matma says, "Got the belly pickles worldwide." <laughs> I must start doing it at home and sell them to the market. <laughs> <laughs> That is a, that's a, that's a, a, a very good idea, a good suggestion. Right, see? Yeah. The problem is the fulfillment of the suggestion. <laughs> Why? Because you know me already. All right. Struggle. What's the struggle? This silly ant oil. It big thing. All right, so give me this. Mm. All right, guys. So we just basically, when we when we um do our our plantings, we basically put them on absorbent papers and just make them drain because you know the excess oil. Just want to get rid of that. Um, the other thing is that we had our planting in the freezer, in the fridge, and that may have changed how the planting, you know, the vibe of the planting, right babes? I think so. Because they're planting a brittle bad. It's so brittle. It's super brittle. It's a brittle planting, it's a brittle planting. Okay, so our, our thing is coming on fine, you know. We just put the, the, the cooked ones on the, on the absorbent paper there. 
and the tissue. And guys, let me ask you a question. My wife is worrying me about the tissue when I buy. The hand towel, not tissue, hand towel. I just pick up the cheap hand towel that I see. Is there a problem with buying cheap hand towel? I need to know. Because every time I get, I get grief over the hand towel I'm buy. Hmm? Yeah, the belly is such a good name, brand name. Seek to protect it legally. Most definitely, Mazmaz. You can you buy bulk jars and make them nice with the ribbons, tie around them. Why if you design this part? Bouquet Caribbean pickle. You, boutique Caribbean pickle. You know, so the wife already told me that, Mazmaz. <laughs> She's looking at me with that side eye now because you're saying the stuff that she already said to me. Yeah, which I've just not done yet. Mm hmm. Maz, maz, stop make sure you look on my side eye. You understand? Because I was trying my best. Mm. Angela said the cheap, they said the cheap um, antoil them don't work, see? Guys, I me me never really want to make sure you win this, this morning, you know? I never thought that Uno that really makes you win this morning. I needed somebody to be on my side. I needed somebody to be on my side this morning. And see that the whole of Uno giant up with shit. Oh God. She had much I know. She wanna show another tissue. Oh jeez, um here. Alright guys, this is the hand towel. I don't even know what brand it is, but it was super huge when it came. When I said thick, it was super huge. But I am explaining to him that not because it is big doesn't mean that it is economical because if i have to use not at least big does mean does not doesn't thank you hmm? not because it's big does mean not because it's big it doesn't mean oh, that it doesn't it's mean. yeah okay, it doesn't you. mean that it's i was just checking you for, for, for winning i'm actually winning and you win you win from morning and that's just not fair <sighs> <laughs> so right <laughs> So, I'm trying to tell him that if I have to tear off um, 30 pieces of hand towel during the cooking of one meal, it makes no sense. When I can actually use a decent brand, like Bounty. Bounty, shout out Bounty to you. <laughs> this is none of that. And some of the store brands, you know, the, some of the store brands that um, claim that they're a dupe for like Bounty, they That's do work. Impatient. Look, but look this now. Look at my tear of this. Look at my tear of this. So decent. Okay. Look at that. See? That's, That's not so the point. That look if at you, it. That's not nice. the tearing is not the point. The tearing is one issue. Because it's always a fight for me to tear it. Like, see, see that's look, because the, the, the paper not used to aggression. See, it can't it, you're, tear. You're being very aggressive towards the paper right now. And then when you wet it with water and try to wipe the surface, it just disintegrates. So stop wetting it. Just wipe the surface. It still disintegrate. It don't disintegrate, Bob. It disappear. Jeez, um, so I end up I using, even that. though it's thick, you end up finish it in two days. Well, you could have. No, uh, it's not. It's not thick. It's thick. Thick. Really? So you're gonna try win with grandma? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I we're doing now. With nothing else, leave me alone. That's what we're doing now. We're trying to win with grandma. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, so while he gets ready to cook his his breakfast, let us look at our. <sighs> Aspired sponsor. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Guys, let me just tell you right now. If you have not yet ordered one true natural, what's wrong with you? Angela say you win. Eh? Angela over there say you win, man. Thank you, Angela. Angela, you never have to say. You never have to say it, Angela. So guys, let me tell you about One True Natural. First of all, One True Natural, as it says, is 100% organic, yes. We are all natural, pure, unadulterated, mm -hmm. unpretentious. All right, unpretentious, what you see is what you get kind of company, right? And we have so far three products this is so 
appealing look at the nice golden color of our oil blend of our planting outside yeah and this oil blend guys is a mix let me tell you what sets this oil apart you might think that oh i have some sweet almond oil in my kitchen eh? or i have almond um olive oil let me tell you the difference with this oil blend this oil blend was specially curated with each and Jeez, every um, one of you guys in mind wait, look, you read. yes it has a balanced blend of both heavier and lighter oils making it perfect for all hair types some oils are too heavy so it will weigh your hair down some are too light so it will have no effect on the hair but i took the liberty with you guys in mind of you know doing this perfect blend so that you guys here will benefit from it all right and you guys it's great for scalp massages for sealing the moisture for hot oil treatments and for adding shines and it's also amazing on the skin take it from me all right so that's our one true natural shine of mine nourishing oil blend next we have our jamaican black castor oil which is our premier thank you thank you product. thank you thank you <laughs> You see how I'm learn? Yes, I see. I'm a very good student. It's our premier product. And this is sourced directly from Jamaica, you guys, in the hills of St. Mary. Pick up yourself, I Sandra. Where you come from. Pick up yourself, sister Sandra. Ah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, from her mm -hmm. parish in St. Mary. And this is all natural, 100% organic. Yes. Super califragilistic no other oils added no um enhancers no salt nothing else is added no just the flabby. pure castor oil and it promotes hair growth and thickness strengthens and repair dry damaged hair nourishes moisturizes and rejuvenates the hair Jesus, and please. the skin so that this oil guys will change your life i think it can cure corona <laughs> I'm trying to open it to show them, but I can't. All right, and then our final product, which is the baby of the line, literally, yes, is this castor oil mascara. And it is a brow and lash growth and thickening treatment. And it is awesome. If you have issues with your brows, um, or your lash, if you, if you, if you ended up you know, cutting your brows or shaving your brows too often to the point where they refuse to grow back willingly <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they need a little prodding so you can use this and it has a mascara one that you can use to apply that to the brows and to the lashes you can do it while you're home everybody's home a lot more now so you have the liberty of just putting it on and letting it go to work for you and you guys i have had rave reviews about the effectiveness of this product so yeah check it out all right and for you guys who you want to give somebody special in your life a gift set we have the entire line as a gift package yeah we mail it to you already packed you to you know deliver to the special loved one and we will just throw in a free gift in there you know this eye patch beauty queen or do not disturb or some other free gift something will be in there that you guys didn't pay for just as a way of saying thank you yeah all right so with that said you might go to our website at www.etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural that's www.etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural or you can visit our instagram at one true natural and the shop link is right there where etsy.com all right there all right so yeah are you getting over here now yeah yeah did i say it yeah so i have my sausage that i quickly browned yes the windows do ship to the uk but we offer free shipping within the us for uk and other countries outside of the us you will have to Cover your shipping costs. Once you get on the site, it will di direct you it, yes. how to um, deal with the shipping. It will calculate the shipping for you.
All right. In the no, not yet. So now I'm just basically sauteing my saltfish, and as I said before, this is the the the, the frankfurters are not part of the original recipe, but yeah, I just wanted that because I have somebody who not overly nice but salty. Then I'm adding in my garlic and my mixture there. And guys, this is a quick saute. Quick saute. One more oil, right? Okay. So you only use the yellow tomato? Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna add my okras. Ooh, la la. And these okras are previously frozen. So that's why the color is so deep. Now let me ask you guys ahead of time. So no, so we don't want the war. Is this a ketchup or a no ketchup dish? <laughs> Is this a ketchup or a no ketchup dish? <laughs> I saw. Angela, it is it is um able to be used on the body also. The ingredients in the oil is pure organic ingredients, so it is also used on the body. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know you have to do it that way. Italian seasoned crushed red pepper and a little ketchup and lemon. A little bit of flour. Ooh, a crucial, a crucial. We make a little dumpling. Ooh, a crucial, a crucial. No, the light is not out there. Rice and peas. Ooh. All right, let me assemble my plantains and make them look like somebody. Children. Adding in my um, onion. And guys, when when I when I'm eating, I always want the food to look rich. You know, I want to look. Um, healthy like with no vegetables and stuff so that's why i may add my stuff in layers like that because i don't want any one thing to really just cook out and you know not come out like finish you know what i'm saying how oh, this look babe look yummy lily wayne good morning good morning You guys never answer my question about the ketchup. Try the ketchup. Oh. Let's try the sauce like that. All right, put a little butter. Angela said no ketchup. And why is that, Angela? Angela, may I work with you, Angela? Angela, why is that? Let me know. I, I have a little know. bit of oyster flavor sauce here mm, that no I'm ketchup. just adding in lieu of the ketchup and the oyster sauce here just to help bring in some gravy in it, you know. 
Who cooks sausage and sausage without ketchup? Is it because it's of the okra? Sausage and sausage is the main thing. Oh, what's, that right what's the main thing? Okra? Okra, yeah. Really? Yes, it's sausage and okra. Mm. You understand? So don't get it twisted. Heart of worship. Head about. Good morning to you. And how do you do? <laughs> Baby tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I agree with you know, the no ketchup thing, but... Then use some garlic powder and some black pepper. It's co it's A little bit more tony. Cousin Sandra, are you still there? If so, is this a dish for ketchup? Come and know, say nothing to be country cooking. <laughs> nice. I will take your advice. Yeah, try to get somebody for join you, join you in at a foolishness about ketchup, eh? Mm hmm Nobody now join you this morning with no ketchup on me. That me have to tell you. Simone? Simone, are you Jamaican? <laughs> Simone said, I say, to me, it's a good though, ketchup. Thank you, Simone. <laughs> Simone, can I see your bird paper, please? Now, who did ask for bird paper? <laughs> Trump asked <laughs> Obama. I want you to see a bird paper. <laughs> I saw. Put a little water. Tip a little water to make it go and simmer. Look at that. Look how this looks nice. Hmm? And you want to spoil it up with ketchup. Hmm? No ketchup, no ketchup, that's it. Lily Wayne, what's wrong with you guys? Look on the look on the tomato now. Look on the tomato now. Beautiful. And I want you to know you're my favorite girl. Beautiful. Prayer kid. Cho. How you feel about it? You see that? <laughs> See it? Art of worship for sure. They'll put um, apple cider vinegar and a, little and a little ketchup for the gravy. Me too, but I mm, can't fight them. <laughs> apple cider vinegar can go. Oh, you put oyster flavor sauce with salt fish. Tell me that. What? Oh, you oh, eat from the things, my girl? I never seen it. Can I put some pepper? I like orange color of the tomatoes. Yeah, very cute. Thank you. This don't want open. Look on the food, I look good, man. But somebody wants to boil it up with ketchup. <laughs> Looks tasty. Apple cider vinegar, just I use about a cap or two. You can take half of the person's recommendation and don't take the other half. <laughs> that makes zero sense. <laughs> Guys, it means you don't think they're Guys, she incredible. Should I eat? Should not get our ketchup? You can put ketchup in your plate. I shall. Mm -hmm. Guys, do I put the ketchup just to make sure she stop wine around here? Mm -mm. You know, I'm like it, but it needs juice. It needs juice, yes. Really need juice. Bop, 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 Sandria says, ketchup to the rail. To the rail. I'm doing it to the rail. Will you move your hand out of my plate? Ketchup to the rail. Oh, you put it. Yeah, you put it <laughs> at the expense of your your um your satisfaction. Me not lie down with them. Ooh, <laughs> Baba Baba. Never put it away. Right, so happy wife, happy life. Guys, amen. Take the advice from a divorced man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's it's with great <laughs> trepidation that I submit my will to hers. 
Why are you shutting up your mom? Um, heart of worship. Make nice, make nice. Fix that. Fix so. They're planting, so you want them? No, you put this no, first. You, okay. You're in charge of that today. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. You want to taste it and tell me to you? She is not nerfed. I solicited her of, um, advice. Okay? So stop hating on the lady. You put black pepper already? Yeah. I put everything. That's the taste. It's good. It tastes good? Mm -hmm. So come serve it now. May I, may I do something over here? <laughs> All right. Time for the plating. Can I bowl like this? Mm -mm, like the, the glass one. Like this? Yeah. No, no, it's up to you. The cold. And just put the plantains around it. Oh, that's all, guys. Put it in a bowl. And put the plantains around it. That's the one. I think so. So, guys, we're we're gonna we're gonna plate it now. We're at the plating stage. While me I wash up plate and then something because you know. I'm so meticulous, I don't know why I stay so. Some babes. Mm -hmm. When I'm cooking I have to make sure everything wash. We can't have the dirty plate then when I use. Once I'm done using them, I try to wash them quickly. Anybody else do it like me? See some some skeleton. Guys, if you didn't, yeah, we've seen it. If we've you haven't it. learned anything from your buddy, always finish with greenery. lesson in life <laughs> always finish off with some greenery then we're gonna pack our plantains around the border you know this the turntable spin right <laughs> turntable spin the turnstile I'm looking for the perfectly done ones. Yeah. <laughs> How it look now, guys? Show them the finishing points. I remember to do it in the thing. So this is our 
flirting with our okra and sawfish and sausage and our green tostones, our green plantain, crushed. Mm -hmm. I have picked up some cooking tips. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome, Carla. You are welcomed. Yeah. He look good, man. We are right in the one hour eye. <laughs> he look good. He look real good. Looks like a thirteen to fourteen dollars a plate. <laughs> For real. Thirteen dollar plate. What? For reals, for reals, for reals. Yeah. Clean that lens a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. There you have it. <clears throat> Breakfast is served up in here. And you know me to give you a tasting plate, right? Mm-hmm. So how you not object about the tasting today? None. Hmm? Nothing. Guys, you know that shrimp could go in this, right? What? Shrimp and so you guys ever made shrimp and sawfish cook up it with okra? Oh. It's, it's so, so good. So delicious. It's part of the creativity, you know, turning it on to make fashion. You know, you utilize it, utilize where you have in a your local area. You see me? See a tasting plate. Put the camera down, turn your Tasting plate for two. Cheers and bench. Oh, it tastes. I'm not hearing somebody has tell me how it tastes. Hello. We can allow it to keep the taste box, right? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Wait one, two and pepper. Mm -mm. Perfect. Feel like you could have used with the pepper. What they're saying? Look at the tablet. What is this price? What, what are these prices for? $20? Hmm? Well, Just take the thing and put it over here as you can see my babes. Mm -hmm. Right. You know we can't sit far, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. By the way guys, this is delicious. Very nutritious. Super qualified to put SPN in the So guys, this this is our today's um, offering. We wanted to make sure that we always think about something that's healthy, something that works, you know. When you're making date man breakfast, whatever food you're making at home, always consider one of the number one priority is 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 health. You know, no matter how nice it will be, make it sure it's healthy. Again, there are times when you know you just broke out and eat any little thing, but for the most part, you want to make sure it's at least once per day, once per week, twice per week or three times per week you eat something healthy. You know, um, this morning, I don't know about the health 100% with the excess frying and all of that, but it's Jamaican for the most part. 
And okra good for you now. Okra. Hold on. So am I, am I selfish? Am I, am I tasting something? Okay. Guys, you understand what I have to deal with? Big up yourself, Ghost Light. Big up, Sky Ghost, sorry. Big up yourself. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. No, guys, the guys, no, no. Understand what I have to deal with? Look what the struggles when I have got you in all my life. I put two tasting thing. Wait, name. Sample. Two sample. No, Nisi, don't laugh. Nisi, don't laugh. I put two sample on the plate because I'm I want to sample it as well. I make sure I put two pans the plate. When me look, me see plate I throw it. And the two sample gone. That's why I make me wonder how oh, the program quiet so nobody not talk when me take a stock. Mm. French quiche is very popular. Jerk chicken mini quiche with rice and peas. Wow. Wow. My mom took her color recipe to the Almighty with her. I can't find a good recipe that tastes like her. Anonymous, prevet. Um, look in my my um playlist. I have both playlists, taste buds um and vegan playlists. We have color in there. Um, beautifully done. You know, if I say so myself. Um. And so you can, when, I, I prefer getting fresh kalaloo to do my recipes um, because the canned one just don't sit well with me. So whenever we do get fresh kalaloo again, of course, I will share, you know, but where I am in the United States of America, we don't get fresh kalaloo. It's seasonal. So I don't have any fresh one to share. I have canned recipes and I have fresh recipes. So it's up to you which one you want. Simone, don't laugh. No, don't, don't, don't laugh. You understand? This is what I go to all the time. When the food is nice, somebody near me talk. When the food don't nice, oh, I don't want no, I don't want no tasting. Or when the food is not what she really feel for, I don't want no tasting. Eh? These are the struggles, guys. Remember when we were younger, and we were dating. We also go to the Chinese restaurant. This is what she do me. She tell me if you order something different. Like I would order, you know, um, chicken steak or, or, you know, something. You know, mugu gai pan. She order sweet and sour chicken. Every time, sweet and sour chicken. You see, when we reach home, Angela, and it's, if she tastes mine and it tastes good, you know, say sweet and sour chicken, me end up I eat. These are the struggles. Now, how can a husband who really and truly want to share with his wife face this type of injustice? I, I, that's it. That's it. I, as, of to, as of next week, I am no longer going to be cooking breakfast and sharing no, no sample. Everybody has to just deal with them. No samples. <sighs> I feel so hurt right now. You know what? Could I go up on the edge of the sea? Lime. Like a lemon, a little piece of lemon. Where is it, try? You can lemon, put up on this. Two lemon, where do you think? Huh? No? How oh, does something taste, my girl? Since you eat up both samples. Mm. And sit down over this like you want to sleep. Like nigger writes is a take you. Why over this are lean down from the chair and I go on like you want to sleep. So watch her, watch her. That I ate both is all the commentary. What that mean? I understand that. Yeah, it's good. That's why I ate both, duh. So you don't have no remorse? You're not supposed <laughs> to say, sorry, my love. I am sorry. I hate half all of it. <laughs> you just have one about the fact that I hate of both. This is most it's conveniently in inauguration. <laughs> really? <laughs> hmm. That's here, the tears go to see. And it made me fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, felt, I felt asleep. This is so, so peaceful. Come like Vervine. Guys, I don't know what to do about this situation. And I need somebody to help me. Oh, that's 
Anyway, let me leave it alone. I'm not in a problem with gone past with time. Let me show you guys our last look at the food. This is our creation for today. Saltfish and okra with frankfurters. And we serve that up with some tostones, which is fried green plantain. And guys, it is beautiful. We put it in a dip style. So you just take your food, your, your fork, take up some, put it on your, your tostones and you're going to leave. We thank you for watching. We pray that you would share our page on your social media so that we get to 100,000 subscribers in, uh, uh, you know, as soon as we can. It is a pleasure to be on every Thursday with you guys. Look out for our Marital Mile series that we try to put up every Wednesday. And on Mondays, we have our weekly devotional series that we put up as well. We also do food videos, tutorials, and recorded videos, but we haven't done that in quite some time. You know, see, we haven't done a, a recipe in quite some time, you know. <laughs> but guys, we are live on Tuesdays in the afternoon for dinner. And we're on, on on Thursdays in the morning for breakfast. And then on Wednesdays and Mondays and Wednesdays, we have our devotion and our relationship that we do. We always try to encourage our, our viewers to, you know, just do what you have. Our tagline is turn your hand to make fashion. That's one of the taglines. We have another tagline that says live and laugh cook and eat and Troy is asking that we pray um we i pray you guys out and that's that's thank you so much Troy, for reminding us that in everything is prayer guys let me tell you something if you have been around for the whole entire season of virus and and problems and and all that we have been experiencing your responsibility is to always be grateful to god for his mercies endures forever. I don't care if you're religious and or not. What I'm saying is that there must be a level of gratitude. Uh, <laughs> Friday is get try a wife show. <laughs> Our responsibility is to be grateful because something, someone has kept us. The Bible says we are kept by the power of God's word. And so this morning, we really want you to remember this. Don't live like, like, you know, everything come easy. Or don't live like you had to have the blessings that you have. No, it is mercy. It is mercy why we exist. The Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. And his mercies will never come to an end. But they are renewed every morning. Every morning he gives us new mercy. And so this morning, we want to remind you that we are existing on the mercies of God. And so we need to be grateful. I pray this morning, Father, for every single person under the sound of my voice, those who are facing adversities and those who are okay, those who are ill, those who are looking at financial issues, emotional issues, the stress that is, a, is, is, is rampant in the minds of, of, of people nowadays, Lord God. I pray that your Holy Spirit would bring comfort and peace to their hearts and their minds. We pray, Lord God, for those who don't have to eat this morning, for those who are looking at the, the Christmas season, Lord God, with, with, with luck. I pray, Lord God, for those who don't have a job, for those who don't have a wife, for those who are, are just facing a whole lot of issues lord god i pray that lord in some way form or fashion that you would step into their lives into the fray and meet their needs i pray lord god that you would continue to provide lord god our daily meals lord god i pray father that you would help us because we are so weak we can't help ourselves father thank you that we have your word as a guide as a place of comfort as a place of refuge Thank you, Lord God, that we can also reach out to each other and be a friend because a friend in need is a friend indeed. Father, just bless people. Help people. Help us who have to share with those who don't have. Out of the mickle, the little might that you have given us, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that we would be kind, we will be concerning and caring to others. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that we get every day. And I pray, Lord God, that each person watching this morning will have an 
a, a, a just an awesome experience of unmerited favor and grace in their lives something that they can talk about something that they can attribute directly and, and solely to you bless us now with the choicest blessings lord god that only you can afford to give in jesus name we pray amen amen once again thank you guys for watching carla patterson good morning to you thank you so much for your comment for those who are new remember share it with your friends share it with your friends share it with your friends thank you once again my selfish and okra with a little frankfurter yeah I saw things said this morning. A blessing we say, you know, remember me tell you. And remember, guys, live and laugh, cook, uh, eat. That's what the morning said. Peace and love.